What's going on guys, Fully here from Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube with another tire lineup for you. So this time we're taking a look at the offerings from Mickey Thompson. So what we did is we pulled the three most popular, um, like highest number, highest volume of sellers on the Custom Offsets website and pulled those out to show them to you guys side by side. Because a lot of times if you're looking for tires, you know, you might be able to see one and then the other, but it's hard to look at them all right next to each other, especially in video form. So we wanted to pull them out and kind of show you guys the differences between these top three. So the ones we're looking at, we got the ATZ P3, the MTZ P3, and then the Deegan 38. So we're gonna start uh, on the more uh, less aggressive side and kind of work our way up through the lineup. So starting with the Mickey Thompson Baja ATZ P3. Now this isn't the least aggressive tire out there, this is actually a hybrid tire. So what they do is they take the best of an all-terrain and the best of a mud terrain and kind of combine it uh, into this hybrid style tire. So not a mud tire, not an all-terrain, kind of somewhere in between. Makes for a really good daily driver. There's plenty of other guys out there on the market that are doing this too. This is going to be similar to like your Open Country RT or your Nitto Ridge Grappler, something like that, but uh, obviously from Mickey Thompson. So some of the features that you're going to see is all the tread blocks are really, really big. They're pretty wide. There's a lot of rubber there, um, not giant gaps between all of these. And essentially they do that to reduce road noise. You'll see, especially in the center section here, that these are, you know, squished together more and that is gonna help eliminate some of the loud road noise that you'd get from like a true uh, mud terrain tire. Now, all of these have what Mickey Thompson calls side biters, but on the ATZ P3, if you take a look at the sidewall, you see it's not super aggressive. They've got a lot going on, a lot of like design, and I guess technically this is also uh, functional to some standpoint, but it's not it's not very aggressive. They don't come out that far. It's not like it's gonna help you know push you through really deep mud or anything like that. But it does give you some extra rubber if you were to hit a curb or if you're gonna do some light off-roading and uh, hit some rocks or anything like that. So the size we're looking at on this one is a 35 by 12 and a half for a 20 inch wheel. They're all 35, 12 and a half for a 20 inch wheel just so we have a, a equal comparison between all of them. Uh, so you can kind of see how they stack up. So uh, that pretty much covers it for sidewall, not a ton to talk about there. It is a three ply sidewall, if that's something you're worried about. And then you're looking at a 10 ply rated tire with 120 uh, one load index and load range E. So that should pretty much cover that. Good option for your daily drivers, something that sees uh, light off-road use, but you know primarily highway miles. Um, and that's because this does also come with a 45,000 mile warranty. It's a, a limited warranty, just like anybody else too. But you typically don't get warranties with mud tires and things of that nature. So stepping it down to the hybrid tire, uh, you do get that 45,000 mile warranty. So moving up to a more aggressive tire in the lineup, this is the Mickey Thompson Baja MTZ P3. So a very similar name. Uh, but definitely a different style tire. So this is going to be your full-on mud tire uh, without getting into anything like super, super, super aggressive, uh, but still, you know, plenty aggressive for most people that are doing some sort of uh, off-roading. So the differences you'll see here is these tread blocks are not nearly as wide as they are on the ATZ P3. Uh, they're, you know, really well separated and then not quite as large. So basically that's going to be for self-evacuation of mud, gravel, snow, uh, rocks, anything that you're driving over so that these tires can be self-cleaning and fling all of that out of there. One interesting thing is you'll see um, on these shoulder blocks on the side, they actually have little like scoops in the outside tread blocks, uh, both on one side facing forward and on the other side facing backwards. So regardless of which direction you mount the tire, when you're going forward, you'll still have those little cups in there for a little bit of extra traction in the really deep stuff. Sidewall on these, Again, three ply sidewall. Uh, overall, the entire tire is a 10 ply uh, rated tire. Again, same 121 load index and load range E. Uh, but this sidewall does have some big, bigger, beefier uh, shoulder blocks. So they are actually sticking out kind of uh, a little bit further. And they also, again, have these little like scoops in there. So that you'd be able to, to push yourself through any of uh, challenging terrain, I guess you could say, um, with ease. Sounds like a sales pitch, it's not. I'm just trying to make stuff up as I go. Again, 35 by 12 and a half, so 35 tall, 12 and a half wide. This is a, a pretty wide footprint tire. You can see the shoulder blocks do go all the way out to the seam. Um, but that should pretty much cover it for that one. No warranty on these guys, it's a mud tire. People know what you do with mud tires, so they don't give you a warranty. There's a manufacturer's warranty as far as like defects and things like that, but no, uh, no mileage warranty. Then we come to the Deegan 38 which uh, you may be wondering, does that have anything to do with Brian Deegan? And yes, it does. So if you don't know who Brian is, uh, really big in the freestyle motocross world and also short course racing. 
So you can actually see a picture of his truck right on this tire. So uh, Mickey clearly worked with Deegan on this to have the Deegan 38. Um, also, Brian founded Metal Militia. If you know anything about those guys or you follow them on Instagram, uh, that's where that all came from. So this is a mud radial, pretty similar really to the MTZ P3, but it's just a hair more aggressive in my opinion. When you take a look at it, the gaps between these outside tread blocks are absolutely massive. Um, probably anywhere from three eighths to a half inch more so than the MTZ if you're looking at it side by side. And then in the center, rather than having lateral uh, cuts, now these are slightly angled but they're close to lateral, you'll see that uh, they're not quite as symmetrical. Overall the tire is symmetrical, yes, but you don't have these straight lines going across. There's a lot of angles and grooves in here, basically to give you as much traction as possible in those low traction environments like mud, sand, snow, etc. Um, but not a ton of siping, so not necessarily a snow tire, but if you're in the deep stuff, this would get you through it. Uh, and then on the shoulder, even more aggressive, you got the 38 uh, with the logo on the side, but then also uh, the shoulder blocks uh, do stick out a bit further. Both sides, same kind of thing. And again, 35 tall, 12 and a half wide, 420 inch wheel, so you can kind of get an idea of what these guys look like. So that is your lineup from Mickey Thompson. Uh, if you want to see any more Mickey Thompson tires, we have all of their entire lineup listed out on our website. Uh, prices on there, everything like that. Remember, we can do wheels, tires, ships, mounted balance for free in lower 48 states. It's kind of what we do. It's probably why you're here. So check us out, customoffsets.com. Peace.